What's up guys, I'm Malcolm. You are watching Fuzzy Fitness. So let's solve this video with the Egyptian tank Hassan Mustafa. Checking in at 4 weeks out of this year's Mr. Olympia. This guy has so much mass, but he isn't among those guys with bare symmetry, especially in this year's lineup. So his best chance is to come in big like he did at Toronto Pro this year. Bring as much freak factor as possible to the stage and just hope that some of the guys who are ahead of him, they come in off. So realistically speaking, and based on how he looked at three different shows this year, he can land anywhere between 10th and 15th at the Olympia this time. And of course, that is going to depend on how much his coach Chad Nichols helps him, and whether or not he can peak him right, and bring him at his 100%. It is so crazy that how a wider waist becomes the focal point of a physique, that either makes or breaks you. And that is the only weakness that Hassan Mustafa has. His back double has got some crazy detail. He has to be among the most muscular guys in this lineup. But here is the question. How will he compare with more streamlined physiques at this year's Mr. Olympia? Four more weeks and we will find out. Even though Brand Chen did not place as per his own expectations at Dubai Pro, no one can deny that he probably had the cleanest lines in that show. He has crazy quads, incredible front double bicep shot. And he did not place fourth because he was lacking condition. He simply plays lower because he is way behind in terms of back development, especially compared to the other top guys. While his overall package was good enough to crack top five at the Olympia in 2019, but then the classic physique evolved so much in the last few years. Just take a look at Chris Bumstead's back at 2019 and compare it to last year. It's like an amateur versus pro level physique. So, Brand Chen needs to make some significant improvements in his back. And we don't know if that's even possible. Not everyone is Chris Bumstead, but that is what he needs to do. As of right now, he is gonna compete in 13 days and try to get that Olympia qualification for 2024. Man, Brandon Henriksen and Aaron Banks do not like each other at all. And that is exactly what's gonna make this year's Mr. Olympia in men's physique so much exciting. Brandon just reacted to Aaron's shocking loss at the Legion Sports last night. And he posted this picture on his IG story. And if you just take a look at the comments that people made on that story, I have to say people are seriously happy that Aaron Banks lost this show. And even if you look at my video that I posted today, about Texas Pro results. That people are more happy that Aaron Banks lost than people being happy for Caron for winning this show. But here is the thing. He is the champion as of right now. He is gonna defend his title at the Olympia. And you cannot count out the champion on just one missed peak. So this is the very first time Jeremy Bondea will compete against Aaron Banks. And Jeremy Bondea isn't playing around either. This might very well be the final time we will see him compete on the Olympia stage. And he definitely wasn't happy with his look in 2018, the last time he competed. So, this is his chance to make a statement. And not only just that, this is his chance to cement his legacy as the greatest men's physique champion to ever step on that stage. And yes, I know he was away from the stage for five long years. But I do have to agree with the other side of it as well that he is still young and Jeremy himself believes that he is gonna be better than 2017 and that package should this date that is considered the all-time best in this division so if he can bring something better than that I believe he will fight for the title next up is Horsamdi aka Marcelo's five weeks old physical date as he is getting ready for Romania Pro and getting ready for his men's open bodybuilding debut which is going to be happening just one week after the Olympia this year. So the outcome and how he does at his first show, that is really going to depend on who outside of the top five from the Olympia this year shows up at Romania Pro. The guys who are doing the Olympia this year will already be in shape. So there is a possibility that they will take advantage of being in shape and try to get their Olympia qualification for next year early. And if you are able to earn your Olympia qualification as early as possible, then you have a whole year just to prep for the Olympia. So coming back to Harsamdi, we have waited for Harsamdi to make his pro debut for more than two years now. So hopefully he will live up to the hype and he will live up to the expectations. So hit the thumbs up button if you like the video. 
and smash the subscribe button if you want to come back for more. Thanks for watching.